How's it going today guys, Trucks and Water here, and in today's video I'll be going over the Last Fit Auto LED lights. They have contacted me a, a couple weeks ago about a potential sponsorship, and they shipped me some of these LED headlights for my truck. These are going to be the Low Beams 9006 for my truck, so I'm going to go over the lights, installation, and at the end of this video I'll be driving around different scenarios and see how these lights perform. Make sure you all go down the link and see their website. Of course, all the links will be down in the description. Um, also, just to note, these are not the factory original headlights. These are clear aftermarket. Those will also be down the, um, in the description of this video. So, let's get right into this video. Right now, we're going to go over the packaging. When they ship it off to you, they have awesome packaging, as you can see. It's very... Um, clean cut you know what it is safe and stylish so what these are these are the la plus 9006 they are an upgraded flip chips voltage 9, 9 to 16 volt watt 72 watch assess at 36 per bulb lumens 7600 lumens so 3800 of 3,800 a piece, which my on the truck currently is 6,000, so 3,000 a piece. These are going to be brighter. Color temperature is 6K, warranty is one year, and two piece LED kit. So let's get inside this video. Let's get inside and see what they look like. As you can see, these are the LED bulbs I will be installing into my truck. They are very clean cut, they are 100% waterproof, dust proof, shock proof whole nine yards so they're gonna withstand the abuse of what you use your truck for they do have a computer fan in the back and as you all know i am a very big pro on this this is how it dissipates the heat from the leds from the led light it's encased and closed it's a solid aluminum construction very durable it feels like with a good connector this is an awesome looking light also before i know when you put this in on your vehicle, make sure, well, you'll see it later on in the video, but make sure this part's facing down and this part's facing up on the light. So when it's sitting like this in the vehicle, as you can see, this part's down, this part's up for the best light performance. Also, I forgot to mention though, that they can also fit a 2006 to 12 RAV4, 2001 to 2013 Corolla, 2004 to 2010 Sienna Toyota, 99 to 06 uh, Sierra 15, 1500, 2002 to 2009 NV GMC, 99 to 2006 overall 1500, and an 04 to 2015 Honda Civic. So, let's get this installed in the vehicle. Guys, what you need to um, take apart your headlight is a five millimeter socket and of course a wrench. And all you gotta do is take out these two prongs right here, take them out, of course, right, tighty, lefty, loosey. You can pop this out, disconnect your disconnects, and you'll be good to go. This one on the side might be a little bit of a pain. But it'll eventually come. Let's see here. Sometimes you have to kind of put it on it, let it sit on there, and then rotate it. You can also use if this is not going to work on this corner one. You can also use a 5.5 um, millimeter um, little mini wrench, and you just gotta kind of put it on the thing. Sometimes it can be a pain, and it'll eventually loosen. I know it's more of a pain doing it this way but at least you'll kind of get it started to where you can undo it. Once you get these bolts loose enough, you can pretty much undo them by hand at this point. So just undo them. Take them out, set them on your, um, on your grill. All these are designed to do, guys, is sit inside the... Um, inside here to keep this in place and then you can pull this one out sometimes they can be a pain depending on um, how long they've sat in here but you just pull them out and depending on if you already have aftermarket lights in here or not you have you just unplug them and take them apart all right now we are just doing the low beams today so that's what we're going to take out all you got to do 
is unscrew them like that and pull them out and there you go put this off to the side for right now put these back in all you gotta do is put them back the same way they came out put them in turn them till they lock and that's what they look like on the inside and they actually look really really good i love the way these look inside the lens of course i have a clear lens so it's going to shine really really bright so what you want to do next guys is before you put them back in and install it you want to connect them up then turn them on to make sure they work so you do a soft connect like just connect them all back up like you normally do put a little clip in as you can see a little clip clip in this one okay then what i like to do i just like to put them in like this and then what we'll do is we'll turn the truck on turn the lights on see if they work Oh yeah, now they're working. So guys, what I found out is if you plug them in and they don't turn on, just flip it around, the, the, the connection for this light, flip it around and plug them back in and they work fantastic. Like, that is a bright, bright bulb. I can tell you what. They look really, really daggum good too. All right, so we're gonna do this to the other side now. It is the same procedure on that side as it is on this side to take these out. So, you know, just undo your bolts. And once you get them going, guys, like I said before, all you gotta do is like, um, you can just untighten them by hand. This quarter one's always the biggest pain, but it is just one of those things though. Like these micro wrenches guys, if you want to get a set of these, these will come in handy for a lot of stuff. I use these micro wrenches for a lot of stuff on trucks, on um, any vehicle really, dirt bikes, you name it, four wheelers. They work fan freaking fantastic. Huge, huge shout out to Last Fit Automotive, uh, Auto Lighting sent these out to me guys. I really appreciate it. Um, and so far I really like them, but like I said, towards the end of this video, I'm gonna have the um, driving part of this where I drive the truck on different scenarios. So like in the country, in the city, on the interstate, and I'll have video footage of course, um, seeing how I like them and whatnot. And it's the same thing for the other side guy, just unplug them, just like that. Just like that, unplug it. And like I said, all we're, we're only doing the load beam. So you just gotta un unscrew it like this, Pull it out, and you're good to go. Same thing with uh, these, you just put them in just like that, turn them to where they lock in, and you're good to go. So all you gotta do is plug up your connections back. These you can flip around to one side, so if you turn it on and it doesn't work, just take this clip, if it's plugged in like this, flip it around and plug it back in, and then it'll work. Um, so what you're gonna do, plug them in, they're just little snap connectors, it's really very, very simple with these uh, Chevy K1500s, how they plug in. Plug. Okay. Let the wires drip back down inside the ca inside the cage or in inside the thing. Kind of just gently put it in. Don't force it. Just kind of let it rest there. We'll turn it on, see if they work. And if they don't, we'll flip the connection around. All right, guys, as you can see, it didn't turn on, so we gotta flip the connection around to make it work. So we'll turn, flip it around. So all you gotta do is just, see here, undo it, slide it off, turn around, slide it back in, turn it back in. 
go. Try it now. Oh yeah, they're working now. And what I did notice about these guys, then the off and then the other ones, is these fans are a whole lot more quieter than these. Um, they're very, very quiet. But as you can see, they're very bright. They're very bright lights. So right now we're gonna um, reinstall the lights back into the uh, back on. It's the same thing what you did, like take them out, put them back in. Just feed them down through the things right here. Like the same way you did before, guys. I got the corner one on. Sometimes these can be a pain to reinstall the um, bolts back in these. So all you really gotta do is use your phone, like just your phone flashlight, look down the hole, you know, and just kind of move it back and forth to see how far back and forward you have to go. And feed, just feed it down in there. And like I said, just hand tighten it to begin with. So that's way you know. And if it grips, it grips. If it doesn't, then you just gotta move it around a little bit. This one gripped right away. This one's a little bit of a pain right here to thread back in the hole. But sometimes they're like that. But now all you gotta do is take your um, take your wrench, your socket, kind of feed it back in. Make sure you don't strip these. So what you gotta do is just feed it down in there to where it gets tight enough. It'll start tightening up on you. And you just want it snug, you don't want these tight. See now it's snugging up. Just like that one up. This one can probably just hand tighten until I get it down really in there. And then I'll use the little wrench. Yep. I'll use the little wrench in these tight spaces. And just take your time guys. It's not, it's not a big rush. Like I said, just Hand tight until it doesn't want to do any more. There you go. There we go. That ain't going anywhere. So we'll put the other side on. Okay, that one's in. Like I said, guys, just a little bit of finagling back and forth with it. Don't force it in the hole. Just kind of look for it, and you should be good to go. There we go. Right on in. my flashlight okay snug that up then we'll snug this one up now once it's snugged up just, like I said it all it has to be is snugged up you don't have to crank on these things like I know some people like to do um, you don't want to crank on these bolts on these lights just kind of give it a wiggle test Lights are designed to flex a little bit, guys. Don't worry about that. But these look like they're good to go. So what we're going to do now is put the camera back, turn them on, and then we'll go from there. All right, guys. As you can see, they are definitely bright. They, they do seem brighter than the ones I had on the truck. But like I said, guys, when you put these um, lights on the truck, make sure... The little dip in the light that goes like this, if you see the bulb, it dips down like this. It's facing downwards. But holy crap, guys, I cannot wait to take these out in the street tonight and see how they, see how they perform. Um, so that part of the video will be coming up right now. So before we start this driving video of the dark, I just wanted to make sure you all know or make sure you all understand that the GoPro is not going to pick up what I see. It's a camera like every other camera else I buy a $5,000 camera. It's not going to pick up what you see. But I'm going to describe to you what I'm seeing and we'll go from there. But we're going to do different driving scenarios like the interstate, back road, city, stuff like that. And then we'll go off from there. Okay guys, so right now I'm on I-75 heading southbound um, out of the city, more in the countryside of it. And as you can see, these are the um, low beams, of course, of the new headlights. Um, I really, actually, I really, really like them. The, the light difference from my other ones, that was more like a bright white, how I can put it. This is more of a clear, excuse me, clear white. That's how I can kind of put it. Um, absolutely love this lighting set. Now, the, the throw of the light is the same because, you know, that depends on the housing. But in this application, running down the interstate with other cars around, you can clearly see, like, compared to that car right there to this, how much brighter 
these headlights are than the stock ones. That's from a newer Hyundai, it looks like. It looks like it's a, yeah, it's a Hyundai. Um, this looks so much brighter and so much clearer. I can see each lane of the road, no problem. The side of the road, um, it looks absolutely fantastic going down the road like this at about 70 to about 75 miles an hour. Um, so right now we're gonna get off at an exit, do some city driving, and then we will go from there. We're in this um, city environment, like downtown kind of environment. As you can see, the lights are still very bright. But as I said before in the video, ambient lighting around that um, is around these lights, they will look dimmer than when you're on a country back road because there's no light to absorb it. Sorry about that. Anyways, um, but other than that though, you can still very much tell what is my lighting and what is the ambient lighting around you, if that makes any sense. Um, they look, I, I just love the way these lights shine. It's a clear white. It's like a white light. It's a clear white, if that, that makes any sort of sense. In my head, it makes sense, but I don't know if it's going to come up to you, come out for you all. So I'm going to make a um, right-hand turn right here that goes down to this little historic downtown area. And this might help see better. Oh, yeah, here we go. So as you can see, coming down through here, you can definitely see where the light is. Now, this is a country back road or something. Everything was just off. All these buildings would be lit up on the side. But since we're in a city environment, just the middle part, you can kind of see where the light is. It kind of goes off the side too, but not as much. And that's what I like about these lights is it's not too overpowering, if that makes sense. But they're definitely 10, 20 times brighter than a stock set of uh, bulbs you buy at like Walmart or... Uh, advance or something um these things are absolutely fantastic as you can see i'm on a back road right now like a back road back road um and these are where the lights truly shine like i was predicting led lights are the are the best when it comes to very dark areas of course like go figure but like the way these handle like the background stuff is just fantastic. The light spreads everywhere, even when you're in like a tunnel effect. Like if you're going um, through like a lot of tree canopy, the light even goes up top along the tree canopy. You can see pretty far up. And just the way it spreads out across the road, you can see all the edges of the road, which means like deer, you don't have to worry about that, or animals, you can definitely see them off in a distance, the way these the light reflects off of things. Um, I absolutely love them the way they are with the, um, the way they um, throw light around, especially on these back roads. They are fantastic at that. As you can see from the video, I absolutely love these new headlights in my truck. They run fantastic. The light is great. Um, like I explained in the more the beginning part of this video, LED lights are fantastic. Now, you probably will get high beamed by some people, especially if you drive a um, level or lifted truck or even a stock truck, you'll probably get some high beam. But the safety and how much light they throw is second to none. Um, also, though, like I said in the beginning of the video, with different lines scenarios, with the ambient light around you, they're going to seem a little bit dimmer because it's just the way that it is or during the rain. But on back roads, on open interstate, on anything that you cannot beat LED lights. So huge shout out to Last Fit Automotive Lighting for sending me out a set of these lights. Thank you all so much for supporting the truck, supporting you know Trucks and Water and the family. I much appreciate it. Make sure you check them out. Links will be all down in the description of the products, guys. Absolutely fantastic product. I can't be any more happy with it. So hopefully in the future, they can send me some more stuff I can put on the truck and show you all because their stuff, I'm really digging their la their stuff. So thank you all so much for watching this video. If you like the video, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Drone the Trucks and Water family. We're constantly growing and changing and trying new and better things. Comment down below if you have any more questions about these lights, comments, or concerns. Uh, other than that, guys, I hope you all have a great day and never give up on your dreams.